Yo, what's going on YouTube? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today I am going to uh, show you what I do, how I preserve all this money that I'm making out here uh, running this truck. So I am over here in dirty Jersey getting unloaded so you'll see the camera jumping around. Um, so snowstorms coming in tonight or today sometime so I'm trying to get unloaded and hightail it out of here. So they're actually moving pretty fast today for being union. Um, so let's jump into it. So this is not financial advice. This is what I do. So um, do your own due diligence. So with that being said, every month on the average, I try to buy what's called silver, silver bullion. Uh, Let's see, will it focus? Well, that's pretty. Look at it. Silver bullion. This is a 10 ounce silver bar of silver. So, right now, I paid a um, hundred and I want to say $160 for that 10 ounce bar of silver. Silver's gone for about $14 an ounce. Hovering right around fourteen dollars, little up, little minus, up and down a little bit, you know. And why do I do this? I'm preserving my wealth, the the money that I I'm able to to generate after I pay all my trucking expenses, pay myself, you know, put money away for maintenance and stuff, and the money that I have left over. Uh, that's what I, I buy and I try to buy an ounce uh, I try to buy 10 ounces a month so I just start at the beginning of the year I didn't make any New Year's resolution um, I just it's just all right now it's New Year uh, Roman New Year you know what I'm saying and so I just started you know buying okay let's focus you know goals here's my goals I'm not telling you my goals because you ain't jacking me up. Um, 10 ounces a month. So over the course of the year, I should have at least 120 ounces by this time next year. So why am I doing this? I'm preserving my purchasing power because the dollar is in the toilet. You can do your own research on this. The dollar is in the toilet. It's uh, constantly being devalued and the cost of even the cost of of you know everyday items and stuff food even the price is staying the same but it's the va the dollar the value of the dollar that's going down is what's making it look like that the price is going up so what do i mean by preserving my purchasing power so let's get here's the fun part and i don't know if anybody explained it this way and i'm not saying i'm the first it's just that i don't know if anybody explained it this way that i have seen so turn this on there we go calculator need one of these all right so this 10 ounce bar let me show it again in case you missed it 10 ounce bar of silver i paid uh i believe i paid 164 160 dollars so we'll put 160 in um, oh, let me back up. The price of silver right now is being suppressed according to the experts. You know, they know more about it than I do. I follow their, um, their, uh, education in it. So right now it's being suppressed. So let's just assume that the that silver bar, uh, the ounce of silver is going to go up to, let's say, being conservative, $200 an ounce. So $200 times oh, 200 times 10 will be $2,000 if silver was at $2,000 right now. But it's not. It's at $14 and some change. So, but 
back to the train of thought. Let's say that that silver bar, to uh, the silver is as two hundred dollars an ounce. This is unrehearsed, so two hundred uh, times ten, two thousand, right? This is hypothetical, right? And I bought it for $160. So we're going to take 160 divided by 2000 equals eight cents on the dollar. So right now, if silver was a, the jump, being very conservative, if it was to jump to $200 an ounce, I preserve my purchasing power for that silver bar, you know, taking into consideration for eight cents on the dollar. That's what uh, uh, I could buy something for with that bar. Minus, you know, uh, uh, exchange fee, and you know, you gotta take it to the man and get an exchange, you know, a money trader, you know, get it, get it traded. So, right around eight to 10 cents on the dollar, somewhere around there. Um, so, no, more speculation. So, full disclaimer. So, let's just say, Silver goes up to five hundred dollars an ounce. All right, so so five hundred times ten is five thousand. So I bought that bar for one hundred sixty dollars. One sixty divided by five thousand equals zero point three two. So we'll just say we'll round up. Let's just say four cents on the dollar. So I bought. That silver bar for $160, in the future, it could be worth $5,000, and I preserved my wealth at eight cents on the dollar. Think about that. That, you know, that, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if anybody explained it like this. I don't know if, if this makes sense to you. I'm, uh, I'm a numbers cruncher, always have been. Um, so just something to look at so for for those of you that are in, in trucking or even you know um, you got some extra money you may want to go buy some silver and uh, preserve your wealth hopefully this has helped you uh, we'll see you